Hi guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another brand new Android Studio tutorial and today we are going to learn about using the tab layout in our Android application. So in this tutorial series, we'll be going to discuss about using the tab layout and uh, the methods that we can get from the tab layout activity and also we'll be using the fragment for the each and every tabs. First of all, we have to open Android Studio and I'm going to create a new project so clicking on the start new Android Studio project and from this window I just want to name it as my tab app now clicking the next and I want to use the minimum SDK version as 4.1 clicking the next and from this window we have to go we have to scroll all the way down and select the tab activity clicking the next and from this window we have to make sure everything can be default you don't have to change it at all so the only thing that you have to keep in mind is that the navigation style so we are going to use the view pager along with the tab activity so using the view pager we can see we have the swipe views action bar spinner so in this case we have uh, we have to simply select the action bar tabs which is default and uh, you can see here is a preview so we have the google play store and a um, lot of google apps uses this kind of uh, layout so anyway we are going to use the tab activity clicking then finish and now let's wait for the gradle to build the process okay so now the build has been completed and as you can see we got a fragment underscore main dot xml layout file and we also got a activity underscore main dot xml and inside the activity underscore main dot xml we can see something similar to what we have discussed in the navigation drawer activity and in the basic activity we have almost everything same from that activity we are not going to do anything at all inside the activity underscore main dot xml and they will be going to discuss about the fragment activity so now we have a sable fragment layout and we got a main activity dot java file and also looking to these libraries we have the main activity one activity file and we have nothing inside the drawable folder next we have the layout with two different layouts and in the menu we have a simple menu and mip map values and that's basically it is so we are going to take a look at the main activity so first of all i just want to say that the tab layout that we selected in this activity uses a view pager so view pager is nothing but something that enable the user to view using uh, that view pager which means that view pager can afford a layout inside it and it will be going to display uh, the layouts through the view pager now in the main activity you can see we got a main class and inside that we have a lot of other methods and in this video we are going to remove some of the things and add some other new methods so you can see we have the one creative view so in this case by default android studio uses uh, the main activity itself to do all the things and it will be also going to replace the view pager with a uh, once the tab is uh, is uh, swiper or something like that so in our case we have to find some of the things like we have the one create we have the menu menu item selector and we have the placeholder fragment and uh, we have uh, yeah let's go to the main on create and you can see we have the view pager with the variable name as m view pager and inside that there is another thing that is tab layout so basically how it actually works is that the tab layout select a particular tab and send the position of that tab into the view pager and according to the position it will be going to display a page so that's how it actually work and now let's go to down and we have the placeholder fragment and we have a static placeholder fragment and one create view section page adapter get count and finally we have the get page title so everything is easy and nice to understand we can simply identify what are the things it's going to do so if you're running the application right now you will find something like a tab activity with the tab name as section one two and three so in order to begin with we have discussed about the 
fragment in the previous tutorial so we will be using different fragment or what we can say for each of the tabs we'll be using different fragment and uh, using that fragment we will going to simply change everything and when the tab one is selected it will be going to show the first fragment and uh, if the tab two is selected then it is going to show the second and like ways uh, so yeah that's basically a idea about the tablet activity so so in the next video we'll be going to just discover that how to just implement the fragment along with this tablet activity so now go and watch the next tutorial as always thanks for watching and i hope to see you in my next tutorial Thank you.